So I want to share my favorite quote to, with you today. It's a quote by Marion Williamson. Um, this quote, unfortunately, has been attributed to Nelson Mandela, but it's not Nelson Mandela. It's actually Marion Williamson, and she is incredible. Um, so let me just get into the quote. The quote says, our, our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. We ask ourselves, who am I to be brilliant, gorgeous, talented, fabulous? Actually, who are you not to be? You are a child of God. Your playing small does not serve the world. There is nothing about in, there is nothing enlightened about shrinking so that other people won't feel insecure around you. We all, we all, excuse me, we are all meant to shine as children do. We were born to make manifest the glory of God that is within us. It's not just in some of us, it's in everyone. And as we let our own light shine, we unconsciously give other people permission to do the same. As we are liberated from our fear, our presence automatically liberates others. So I've shared this on my, my cover photo today, and I want to talk about this because it is such a powerful quote that basically says, you know, step into who you are, step into your God-given talents, step into your God-given gifts. It's not about arrogance. It's about confidence and it's about owning yourself, right? Because those God-given talents and gifts that you've been given are given to you so that you can use them to serve God's world, God's children, you know, live your life's purpose. But if you shirk away, if you hide, if you, you know, minimize, if you try to like simplify and pretend like you are not this fabulous, incredible, talented, you know, whatever, just an amazing, good human being, then how will you allow others around you to feel that way, right? That doesn't mean that you're not perfect. That doesn't mean that, sorry, that doesn't mean that you are perfect. No, of course not. Nobody is perfect. Only God is perfect, right? But, you know, I think as society, you know, we focus on stay humble, stay humble. I think there's humility is absolutely important. But I think we confuse confidence um, with with being arrogant, and that's not okay. That's not, that's a doing a great disservice. So I encourage people to step into your gifts. You know, I'm very clear after how many years of, you know, self-work and reflection and journaling and, and, you know, having amazing, you know, family and friends that I've, you know, my, some of my closest people that are, listen to me, you know, talk and vent and sort of figure myself out. Um, and, but years ago, I kind of stopped doing that with other people. I still have a very few handful of people that I process stuff with, but it's now that circle is extremely small. Um, and even with them, I do it very far and few between most of the times I prefer to sit and meditate. But the point is, you know, those who know me after so many years know that I am very clear about my strengths, but I'm also very clear about my challenges, right? I am... I know I'm flawed. I know the stuff that I need to work on. I know I came back from the 10 day meditation retreat and I like within 24 hours, I was snapping and I was snarling and I was angry at my kids and my kids were like, shouldn't you be Zen? Cause you just got back from this meditation retreat. And it's like, no, I'm not Zen just because I came from a meditation retreat. You know, yes, it's easy to be, it's easy to be Zen and relaxed when you know you're not and no one's triggering you the real challenge is when you're actually home in your environment and things are pissing you off and people are annoying you right but anyways i'm swaying away from the point the point i'm trying to make here is you know this quote by marion williams williamson is amazingly powerful you know please let's you know step into step into you know who you are what your god-given gifts are Stop shrinking and stop making yourself small because when you step into yourself, people around you automatically feel comfortable stepping into themselves. And it's truly, like I've said, doing work on yourself, it's a spiritual act because it's all about figuring out who we are, 
what we're about so that ultimately we can be closer to the divine, which is our ultimate destination, right? So please read the quote again and, uh, you know, step into yourself. It's baby steps. We got to start somewhere. Um, but uh, don't shrink. You know, you were made for a reason. There's no one in the world exactly like you. And you were here. You're exactly where you need to be to learn what you need to learn. So then you can actually then do what you need to do. So um, I know it, it seems like words, but believe me, they're not words. I live my life with that premise and it's guided me my entire adult life. But, and again, I think I, this quote crossed my path when I was a teenager. And so this has been something I would say at least, you know, 35 years in the making. Um, so anyways, 30 years in the making. So anyways, all the best, God bless and take care.